Welcome. In this video, we'll show you how to add triggers that give your agent autonomous capabilities in Copilot Studio. Agents execute and automate business processes and handle specific tasks. When given the right tools and instructions, they can act independently, executing business processes when given the right trigger. Let's build on the agent we created in our previous video that sends an email requesting a security badge on your behalf to your admin. This time, we'll enable it to operate autonomously when a new teammate joins. Triggers determine when an autonomous agent should be initiated and act. These can be tied to specific events, like when a new record is created, a form is completed, or an email arrives. Triggers can also run on specific intervals or a set schedule. Before setting up triggers, ensure the agent's orchestration is set to generative. Generative is on by default, enabling your agent to adapt and dynamically change plans if needed based on a user's responses and leverage the various agent components present such as its knowledge sources, tools, and instructions. Since we already created and tested our security badge email tool in the previous video, we can now focus on adding the trigger that will run it automatically. As a best practice, it's important to add and test your tools first to ensure they work as expected before introducing any triggers. In this scenario, we'll create a trigger that sends an email requesting a badge to the admin team as soon as a new team member joins the sales team. We'll begin by adding a trigger that monitors new entries in the users table. When a new member is added to this table which grants them access to the CRM, the agent will automatically send a badge request email to the admin on their behalf. Next, we'll update the agent's instructions to clearly outline what tools to use and steps to take when this trigger is detected. Clear, direct instructions are key. Autonomous agents use these to determine their next move. We've updated the instructions to explain that when a new sales team member is added, the agent should call the Send Security Badge Email Request tool on their behalf. Now that we've added the trigger and updated the instructions, we're ready to test. The first time you test an autonomous agent, you must trigger it using the actual real-world event. To do this, we'll navigate to the Power Platform Admin Center and add a new member to the sales team. And select their role. The agent will detect this event and automatically send a badge request to the admin team on our behalf. Now we can replay the previous trigger event without repeating manual steps, allowing us to make adjustments and continue testing without having to trigger the agent each time. To edit your trigger, simply click on it. This will allow you to customize or modify the trigger in Power Automate. An activity map is generated for every session your agent has. Once a trigger is detected, your agent will begin working in the background. You can use the activity page to review sessions and see how often it's been triggered either by yourself or automatically. You can see the date and time the activity was initiated and the status to know if it completed as expected. And when you click on the details, you can see step by step how the agent thought through and executed the process. Within each step, a description allows you to know more about that step. Here we can see that this agent triggered when a row was added to the user table. The next step allows us to see the badge request was sent. When you finish testing and are ready, you can publish your agent. Before publishing, we display important warnings. Make sure to review them carefully. You may see editors have full access. This means that editors in your environment will have full access to any connections, triggers, and flows associated with this agent. Or the warning, your agent includes triggers that use the author's credentials. This indicates that your agent includes triggers that execute using your credentials or the agent's author rather than those of the end user and you'll see the warning, your agent has one or more autonomous triggers. Autonomous triggers execute independently. This appears when your agent includes triggers that can act without user interaction with your agent. These triggers are event driven and can still run even if the user or admin initiating the action doesn't have access to the agent. This means that even if someone else doesn't have access to the agent or its environment, triggers may still run using your credentials. Now, as soon as a new teammate joins, a badge request is sent on their behalf. What autonomous capabilities would you like to add to your agents? Tell us in the comments below. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest on Power Platform tips and tools. And if you like this video, share it with your colleagues and friends. Find this video and more in the Mastering Copilot Studio playlist. Start creating your own agents today at aka.ms slash tricopilotstudio.